Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's whiteout edition of Hockey Talk. Bob Crawford here, and I'm joined by whale goaltender Jason Mission. And Jason, for a long time, Cam Talbot was carrying the entire load, and uh, you were either in Greenville or, or just uh, the guy on the bench who was opening the door. But uh, recently, you guys have basically split duty, and uh, things have gone pretty well for you personally. Yeah, it's nice to get an opportunity to play, and, uh, you know, I'm a younger guy, so, uh, you know, uh, you have to understand that that's my role coming into a – my first year in the American League, so it's nice to play behind a guy like Cam and get to watch him and learn from him and see how he conducts himself on and off the ice. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Can you still learn a lot even if you're not playing a whole heck of a lot just in terms of practicing and, and uh, watching how a guy like Cam approaches things? For sure. Uh, there's always little things that you can pick up from other guys, and a guy like Cam, it's really nice to work with him. He treats me really well, and we get along really well too. And in the games you've played recently, you always knock on wood when you talk about uh, goaltending, but it uh, uh, looks like uh, you, you had a shutout uh, the first game you got back here and, and got a chance to get in, and, and a couple of other real good efforts. Do you feel like you're seeing the puck pretty well right now? Yeah, it's nice, too. Once you get a couple games in a row, you get, to get into the swing of things. It's a little tougher playing once every three weeks or something like that. But, no, after the break, it seems to be coming around a bit better for me, and uh, I'd like to just keep it going. You spent most of last year in the ECHL, got some backup duty with the Whale, and it's obviously a big jump going from major junior to the pros, but for a goaltender, what's it like uh, going from the ECHL to the AHL? How big a jump is that? Uh, the biggest thing is probably the speed difference and the shots are a, a little faster. It's a little less time out there to think and read the play, so uh, you got to be paying attention the whole time. And the, the one thing that jumps off the stat sheet at everybody about you is that uh, number in the height column, six foot eight. I think uh, the tallest goaltender in organized hockey as far as I've been able to find. And is that challenging in some ways? I mean, obviously, you got the big long legs, which is a great asset. But uh, uh, some of the way, the, the, the physical way the goaltending position is played, is it a little tougher on a guy that tall? Well, I think I'm six nine now. I think the stats are wrong. But <laughs> uh, for me, I think it's an advantage. A bigger guy in the net takes up more space. And. I have the ability to reach out further with my long legs and get pucks that maybe some guys can't when they're out of position. And I think it enables me to play a little deeper in my net and give myself a little bit of a better chance on second or third shots in a game. And getting a chance to work with Rangers goaltender coach Benoit Allaire, a guy that's worked with a lot of really good, big, tall, uh, rangy goaltenders. How's that been for you? It's been amazing. Uh, all the insight and all the little things that he's able to tell me and uh, helped me work on my game. It's definitely helped me improve a lot, and I think uh, it's been a really good opportunity for me. You had an interesting career before you turned pro, played uh, several years in the Ontario Hockey League, and then your overage year you played in the Quebec Major Junior League, uh, got drafted by Montreal, ended up signing with the Rangers. Did you feel like you'd been through a lot before you even turned pro? Yeah, I spent four years in Peterborough and was looking to come back for a fifth year, and I ended up going to Quebec, and I think that was my favorite year out of all my years of junior. I went to a little town called Bay Como in Quebec, and I never thought I'd like it there, but it was amazing. I had awesome billet family, and I'm quite fortunate. My parents made me uh, take French in school, so I got got away with that pretty good. So I was able to understand everything and uh, not signing with Montreal and then signing here as a free agent. It's uh, definitely been a lot of up and downs, but you just got to stay positive and keep working hard. and. Uh, try and make things work out for you well all the best of luck with that uh, thanks for sharing a few minutes uh, here tonight with us all right thanks a lot that's well goaltender jason mission with us on hockey talk enjoy the game